Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to what has been a very long time absence from Dark Souls 1. Um, I would like, before the next area I'm going into, does this cure toxic? I don't think it does. No. Cast lights not needed. Full control would be nice, but... Actually, yeah, full control might be good. Well, is there any miracles I want to use? I, I keep forgetting, this is a character who has lots of options at their disposal. And I would like to use... Uh, force is one. But... There aren't many ledges I can fling things off of in there. Oh wait, yes there is! Yes there is! <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Anything else? Uh, power within, iron flesh, no, no, no. Replenishment. Uh, I don't remember that being particularly great, but I can see some use for that, actually. But I think I'd benefit more from hidden body. So I'll put that back. Anyway, um, what I was saying before is that it's been a long, long hiatus from Dark Souls, but now I'm back. I've been fairly busy, but I've been finding time here and there to go and do extra things, and this time, I've got some extra things to do here. First order of business is... Hold on. Do I want... Talisman here, Catalyst here. There we go, that'll do. So first off, we're doing the Pated World, because there are a few sets of armor I want to pick up there to complete this cosplay. And also because there are a few extra things in there which are quite cool to get. And then we're coming back down here to deal with Gwendolyn. Now that our allegiances have been made clear for us. And we have sided with the dark. To an extent. Maybe, maybe not. Like I said before, it doesn't actually set anything in stone to say, like... Wait, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Anyway, um... It doesn't set anything in stone. Uh, siding with Frant or Carth. All it really does, or, or siding with Nyro. All it really does is stops Frant wanting to deal with you. And it is entirely possible to be a Dark Wraith who does not side with Carth. It's. There's a bit of jury rigging with it, but what it requires is for you to homeward bone out when you talk with Carth before. And then talk with Karth again when you're in the Abyss. Not that way. And doing that allows you to talk with him about joining his Covenant. Which, of course, doesn't happen with Frant, because he doesn't have a Covenant. So doing that allows you to have allegiance with him as, a, as part of the Covenant, but also side with Frant so you can go and trade stuff. That's what I was trying to say, and I got a little tongue-tied. Hello. Do I want to parry you, or do I want to... Oh, actually, I want to show something off about this heavy attack. Boom! It has a knockback on it. I'm not sure how much poise you have to have to withstand that. Did I just get a painting guy sword immediately? Okay, I have to show this thing off. Um, first off, if you haven't seen before, curved swords, katanas, rapiers, daggers and all that, they have a parry animation when they're in your offhand and a fairly quick uh, offhand swipe attack. But this weapon as well has the traditional R1 full shoot booster, which is OP as hell, especially in its two-handed form, but it also has unique attack animations that combo into each other. Useless, but enjoyable. <laughs> Such a stupid weapon. <laughs> Uh, but I like it, and I'm going to use it as my offhand weapon. Now, the reason I'm down here again is that now that I've got the doll uh, from the Undead Parish, not the Undead Parish, the Undead Asylum, I can go and enter the painting world now. Again, how on earth that bloody doll ended up where it is? Piss. No idea. It just did. Because game reasons. But it did. Yeah, now you've got it, and you can go into the painting world. 
Painted World is a lovely area. Stop doing that jump attack. I keep expecting you to go ham slam me with super easy R1s and then you don't. Wow, I'm amazed at myself. Alright, stop faffing about. Because these guys can actually do a fair amount of damage if you fuck around. So the Painted World, um, a bit of trivia on that area. It was, if, if you don't know already, it was originally the sort of pilot area for Dark Souls. It was the alpha build, the sort of testing period. Are you serious? Uh, for those who don't know, that's actually a pretty rare drop for these guys. They usually just drop really shitty throwing knives. But straight off the bat, fucking two swords. Just... Alright, alright. Ow. I think these guys can also parry you when they bring out their target shields. For some reason they don't parry with their, you know, sword or anything, which they can totally do. And it's totally got some more right parry frames. It's impractical, but it's just so goddamn fun to do. You have them dancing around like a little prissy ballerina, as Plague would say, and you just go and give them one big slam. Boom. Unless they dodge it. Stop that. That's very rude. Any fans of uh, Iron Tarkus here? Since I didn't summon him, I might as well show this guy off. Um, Helm of Black Iron Tarkus, a knight shown, known for its great strength. Built of a special black iron and providing strong defense, notably against fire, but is so terribly heavy to be unwieldy to all but Tarkus himself. And that's all that says. Um, I think the Great Shield is a bit more on it. And of course he uses the Great Sword, which uh, I put in my offhand. <laughs> uh, just not on form today, am I? Which is a big ass Ultra Great Sword that does this. It's very nice, very powerful, actually a quality weapon. So uh, much to my surprise. And it has a nice frost attack. Very good weapon, just heavy as all butts. But his great shield. There we go, built with special black iron, even heavier than Knight Berenike's tower shield, or Berenike's, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Uh, especially resistant to fire, blah blah blah. He was a knight of Berenike. Either a group of knights or just the name of the place they come from. And he was the one who was actually successful in, successfully got down to Londo. And then he fell over the rafters or something, or just died here or whatever. You'll actually see a Baronic Knight in, um, inside the Painted World, so they got this far. <laughs> it's just the weird little um, extra details of the story that they implemented uh, just sort of suggest a... suggest a wider verse than what is presented to you explicitly. But anyway, what does this say? Hiding place ahead. I suppose. Need item, true enough, and need amazing key. Alright, enough faffing about. Let's go and appreciate this artwork. Damn it, Claire! What did they say about touching the artwork? You're not supposed to do it, you're getting your grubby fingers all over the paint. See, that's what happens when you don't listen. All those people who touch paintings in galleries, they get sucked in. And this is where they end up. The painted world 
of Ariana's. Much bluer, colder place than it is normal for the Souls universe. Oh, just as friendly. Just as friendly. Yeah, I'm not sure if I said this before, but I did upgrade this to plus five uh, off camera quite a while ago. Uh, point of, point of reference, uh, and also just a word of warning: you can't leave the painted world until you open up the areas and plunge down the plank at the end. Ugh, God damn it, controller! Even with the Lord Vessel, this is true. So don't come here if you don't want to get stuck here for a bit. Uh, do I have? I have three of these. All right, um, I'm going to want them on my hover. But that's that for now. What I'm going to do in this area is I'm going to open it up first and foremost, so I can leave very easily, and also because I I can very quickly open this area up. And then I'm going to go look for the extra stuff in a separate set, and then the boss killing is going to be done on another set. Right. Well. Um, Let's get doing that. Right, for the life of me, I don't know why I said sets there. Uh, what I really meant was parts. This is not going to be... I'm not going to be spending three sets in the goddamn painting world, that's for sure. <laughs> um... Oh. How rude. But, um... What I meant was parts. Three parts in, in this set. I'm going to be going around the painted world doing extra things. The second set, if you're not interested in anything that's in the painted world and you just want to get through it, this is the set to watch. Because I'm going to be showing how to do that relatively peacefully. I mean, it's this is still a hard-ass area. Like, there's, there's, no, there's no bones about that. But this is the way to to mitigate some of the pain you're about to enjoy. Like getting toxic. That's gonna happen a lot in this place. Hence why I'm not currently dealing with that toxic right now. And that's a general bit of good advice if you're you don't want to get poisoned a lot, but you're in an area where it's easy to get poisoned. Deal with all the poison spitting or toxic spitting enemies before you use your moss pumps. Especially in this area where you can't actually go and end up farming them. Oops. So, that's that. Chomp on them. There's some more other dudes in this area like this guy. In fact, no, yo, fuck you. But. I'm going to be doing all of the exploration in the second set, in the second part. Why do I keep saying set? These are not sets. Oh, honestly. So, yeah, go there. I'll also be dealing with that thing over there. Right now, this actually is an ideal speedrun strat. There is a, there is a glitch in this area that allows you to basically just cheese the whole thing and not even bother with any of what I'm doing right now. But this is how you do a glitchless, if you don't want to end up doing it. Oop. So, first shortcut, very easy, allows you to get by past the uh, toxic enemies. If you, have, uh, if you have pyromancy, you can kill those guys without um, them toxicing. Or if you have a fire weapon, although it's really dodgy with fire weapons, because I've I tried it with a chaos hander before, and even then, yeah, I still got toxic. So, yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, okay. As much as I love the great sword of Artorius, it's good to have you back in my hands. Oh, broken straight sword. Well, I do. I, I bother picking up what these guys drop. They never drop anything good. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that. Let's just pretend I never picked that up. Anyway. 
the next order of business. Oh my god, slow down. Thanks, Phalanx. Thanks for the slowdown. Is this way. And by far, the hardest area is down this way. It is not fun. And I'm actually probably going to want to use Hidden Body, actually. Anybody who's played this game, been to the Painted World, knows what I'm talking about. And this is the safest way of dealing with them. Shieldless, anyway. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why you'd be bonkers like me and just uh, go through without a shield, but... Oh god, I cannot see any of them. Oh! oh! These guys. Remember them from the catacombs? They're even worse down here. And if you don't have hidden body, they are all up in your grip. Oh no, hidden body ran out. This is not good news. Yeah, he's coming soon, mate. Uh, no. This is still a better place to fight them, even though it's so goddamn dark, because the alternative is going through the alleyways. You don't want to. You do not want to go there. There's a there's a key you can pick up, but is it really worth going for all of these? I'm going to be doing it anyway, because. Apparently some sort of masochist, but... Yeah, these guys, uh... They're not great to deal with. <laughs> I thought I dealt with all of them. <laughs> if you have absolutely zero poise, they are the bane of your existence. Because they will not go through like they do in Dark Souls 2. It's not just like, oh, you scraped me. Oh, that's so annoying. No. They will stay there and they will keep hitting you over and over and over again. That's pain. That's some solid pain. Yeah, if you're having trouble with the painted world, that's just solved it. You can go to the boss right now. It's just one long straight, just a few enemies, you run past them, boom, you're there, you can get out. Isn't that nice? And I don't have many homo bones, so I'm going to walk back and spend some time talking with things, because I like to talk. Actually, that's not true, I don't really like to talk all that much, but I don't like silence in a video that's meant to be a let's play. The extra thing I'm after here, if you're interested for cosplay reasons, is the painting garden set. But there's also a very nice set called the, um... I think it's the Velka set in this? I think it's called the Judgment set. But, um... Looks very spanky, very nice, and it... That's, that area also, that, that drop, has um, the Velka's Rapier, which is a fantastic dex in weapon. More of an intelligence weapon, but it's like, um... It's essentially a magic rapier with some really swanky moves. But hey, I don't have to stall for timing. Let's go and spend some of these souls. Um, Soul of a Brave Warrior? How many souls do I have? Yeah, let's go and use that. Plenty endurance. Lieblish. So. Next part, we'll be ex actually exploring through these areas and taking, taking in all the wonder it has to offer. All the wonder and all the misery. See you then.